Hello, this is Patrick Ash, author, musician, and an elder millennial with the angst to go with it. This is my video blog. I want to talk more about my quitting writing and a realization I had today. So right now, my the people who watch, the percentage is dropping precipitously. And people who maybe thought I was just going to talk about guitar gear. Hey, Vega trim is an excellent trim for your Strat. Uh, Tone Rider pickups are a great Alnico 2 uh, if you're looking for a relatively cheap um, aftermarket pickup, there you go. Um, if anybody else is watching, hey, you can get a nice Martin DX1, even the US made ones. Probably about 500 bucks now, I'm guessing. Anyway, uh, maybe the price has gone up. All right, there's some gear stuff. So, um, talking about writing, I should really get to bed here quickly because I've had little sleep lately. And it's, a lot of it's related to writing, honestly. And feeling like that is persistent feelings of worthlessness of, pe of people not picking up on the metric ton of ideas and messages that I that I drop. Um, whether the reviews are positive or negative, it seems like very little people pick up on them. Whereas I feel like I'm being too obvious, oftentimes. Anyway, that's just one part. There are many issues. Uh, see more people are now dropping. The percentage is probably about uh, twenty percent right now. So thank you. So if this uh, video gets fifty views, and I'll have maybe ten people still watching. Great. This it's so predictable. I see it every time, um, and it doesn't matter what I. The only thing that it retains uh, viewers is is if I talk about gear. Or so. Maybe that's what I should be doing. You could argue that, I guess. All right, um, talking about writing, I had a realization today as I was speaking with somebody else and I don't know how it popped in my head, but I was like, why am I so upset? Um, I mean, obviously it gets in the whole finding your identity, finding your purpose. And what I describe as being the, the tragedy of my whatever, pathetic existence on this planet is um, that either I have nothing to offer. That's one hypothesis. Another one is I do, but I, as so many has have observed in my personal life and online, many, many venues, I'm just shitty at marketing, shitty at advertising. I mean, I keep asking for hints. I keep trying different things and it just is a big fucking money pit, which is a big reason why I'm you know, trying to quit writing trying to put it down, even though, as I told this person today, I'm like, the ideas keep flooding. And which, by the way, one of my close friends who watches this, graphic designer, hi. Um, one of the main reasons I don't read enough, in fact, my stack of books over here is just all over the place. By the way, rest in peace, Cormac McCarthy. Um, anyway, is because what I do, it's just like a flood of ideas and I, and it just overwhelms me. And this is, it's always been that way even since childhood. But, um, anyway, so I was thinking about it and talking with it, talking with someone today. And, um, I immediately thought of a old relationship slash friendship that I've lost. And it, this predates even meeting my, um, spouse. Um, but it was about a, couple, two or three years before then, um, there was someone I met and it was through online dating. And initially it was just sort of like a, oh, you're cool. You're cool too. We have similar tastes and music and books and like kind of uncanny, very, very similar taste. And, um, I was like, oh, well, it's long distance. So it's not going to work. But over the course of maybe a year or so, it's like, oh, I'm going to be in town or I'll be nearby. Or, hey, you want to hang out? Da, 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 da. And we ended up hanging out a number of times. Um, nothing much happened. I won't kiss and tell, but, I mean, it was just kind of flirty. Um, but nothing, you know, uh, not, no kind of relationship or anything. Um, but I always liked this person, and I always kind of knew it was one-sided. You know, it was me admiring this person and knew that she did not feel the same way. Um, and so over time, we kind of kept in touch, but, you know, obviously I met my spouse, her future, then future spouse, uh, and she, this person, dated various people. Um, and then six, 
six months ago, eight months ago, something like that, just randomly unfriended me on Facebook. And um, I was kind of initially hurt by it. And then I, I couldn't think of anything I'd posted. Like, I don't think I'd post anything controversial or or something that would be upsetting for her or anyone. And, but um, that's what happened. And I, yeah, I was just flat out hurt, you know? I mean, there's the whole, yeah, you get heartbroken if someone doesn't like you back, blah, blah, blah. But that's fucking life, you know, get over it. Don't be a, um, you know, don't be a prick about it. But then there's that friendship heartbreak when you just like someone as a human being and they decide, no, nah, I don't like you. Is it fair? Sure, it's always fair and loving more and whatever. Uh, but um, there's still the, gosh, I really looked up to this person. And they did not feel that way. That sucks. But what made me think of it today is that that's analogous for my relationship with writing. And that is something I admire, the craft itself, you know, the... Um, all of the just vast tapestry of of um, experiences when you're reading. Um, and this person had many skills, many interests, just, I was just an admirer, I always was, uh, up until just being randomly unfriended one day. And, um, and it's like, I guess why it upset me because it really got to me at the time, even though it was like, you know, the the romantic interest was long gone. And it was just sort of like, oh, this is such a cool person. I'm glad we're in touch. And it was like, I guess not. Um, but anyway, but like like with writing, it's um, it's just this looking up to something as like this kind of untouchable, um, wonderful thing. And you feel like, hey, maybe I have a part in that, however small that is. You know, even if that they don't reciprocate my affections, we can at least be friends. We can at least hang out. And then one day it's like, nope, not even that. You're just unwelcome, period. Um, friendship heartbreak, which, by the way, I've mentioned on this video blog, it was a while ago, 10 or 15 video blogs, whatever it was, talking about the Ukraine war and how I had a good, whenever I mentioned that, I was going to downvote. So if that person or whoever else out there is watching this, go ahead, downvote. I, I've noticed that whenever I mention Ukraine war and how I saw this, this argument that I had with a friend as a difference of strategy, not a difference of values. It's like, we, I'm not going to go through all that again, but um, in a nutshell, it's like, yes, we agree this is terrible. It's an illegal offensive war. Um, they should, uh, you know, the Russians should leave. And um, anyway, we, well, I thought we agreed on that. But then I said, but we should not uh, threaten nuclear war. That was, a I saw it as a step too far. He didn't agree with that. And he said, that means you don't care and you condone all these horrific war crimes and you support Putin and all this bullshit, just flat out flaming bullshit. I'm like, you're putting words in my mouth and you're insulting my intelligence. And it's sad because I always looked up to that person. Um, and so in both cases, it, and these were people I knew in real life, they weren't just, people will often downplay internet friends even though you, know, you can have very close internet friendships. Anyway, um, so, so it occurred to me today, I'm like, yeah, that's why, because I, I keep thinking of that. I keep thinking of losing not the war argument friend, but rather the other friend who, you know, I liked 10, 12, 12 years ago, I guess. Well, you know, um, most people that like you have songs that remind them of you. And I heard one of them today or yesterday. Anyway, but just like the, it, when I think about trying to step away from writing, it's like, it's this other thing in my life where I see all this wonderful, you know, all these wonderful possibilities and I'm open to going different directions or whatever. And then it just feels like I'm just shut out. Like, no, nope, not interested in you, not interested in you at all. And in any, in any capacity. And you're just like, well, that sucks. And that's it. All right. Thank you. See you.